after this short break we come back here to talk about phonological processes that we say first phonological processes it stands for the changes that the segment undergo when morphemes you know stand for the changes segments undergo when morphemes when morphemes combine or are combined to form to form words or the changes occur also in in environment where there is no there is no combination of morphemes This is, as we said, phonological processes stand for the changes the segments undergo when morphemes are combined to form words or in an environment where there is no combination of morphemes. And this is a common in English. Okay? As you say, you have to remember this thing. Then we are going to go for the next step, which is a simulatory process. The type of phonological processes is we have assimilatory processes and prosodic processes and weakening and straightening and uh, weakening and straightening processes and we have naturalization processes. But first we are going to focus just on assimilatory assimilatory process. In assimilatory process, we are going to talk about first thing, assimilation. This type is common in languages. The art segment become more alike. Now, one segment take the value of another segment. For example, a vowel take the value of a, of a consonant, or a consonant take the value of a uh, uh, vowel and vice versa. In assimilation, we have vowel assimilate vowel feature. We have vowel. Harmony. This type of of assimilation we found it in many languages. For example, in the Turkish language, or in Turkish, but it stands for vowel harmony. We have in Turkish as a rule. In Turkish. The high vowel of a suffix the high vowel of a suffix for suffix agrees. In, in rounding and backness 
with the steam with the steam vowel as we say in Turkish this is the language the rule says that the high vowel of a suffix agrees in rounding and the backness with the steam vowel which means if the, if the suffix vowel is not high we are not going to talk about vowel harmony and if suffix is high the vowel suffix is high and it's not agree with the same vowel in rounding in the backness we are not going to talk about vowel harmony so we are going to see some examples but you have just to come to write the rule down and we see the examples and hope you understand it we have the steam we have the steam we have the gloss gloss the word and the gloss In the steam we have dish. This word we have a dish which means tooth in English. But if you want to say my tooth, you will say dish in. As you see, the high vowel of a suffix, you know this is a high front and round vowel. But what we have to know is that the high is a high. So we have to see if it's agree in the backness and the rounding with the same vowel. As you see, this is I and this is I, they will agree. So we are going to talk about vowel harmony in this example. And another example is Gonol which means the heart and if you want to say my heart you will say gonolom Here we have the suffix vowel, it's high front round. It's a high front round vowel. It agrees with the steam vowel in terms of rounding and the backness. So in this case we are talking about vowel harmony. What, what we have to, to look at first, if this suffix vowel is high, this is the first condition you have to look at. The first condition is the suffix, suffix vowel, it must be high. Then you have to look at the steam vowel and compare it with the suffix vowel, if they are agree in the rounding and the backness. We are going to look at another example we have bash which means a head and we have bashing in this example we have the high vowel of suffix. The suffix vowel here is high. It's a, this symbol stands for the high back and round vowel. The high 
back and round vowel, remember it. It agrees in what? In the backness and the rounding with the same vowel because this symbols or this vowel stand for the high or the, is, sorry, it stand for the low back and round vowel. So in this case, we are going to talk or we are going to talk about vowel harmony. This one assimilated to another. We are talking about vowel harmony. So the rule says that the high vowel of a suffix agrees in backness and rounding with steam vowel. So we have the first thing that you have to look at is the, the, the suffix vowel. If it's high, you have to complete to look at the other features in rounding and backness. But if it's not high, you have to stop because there is no vowel harmony.